Rights, the far-right militia group, the Oath Keepers founder, Stuart Rhodes, has been convicted of seditious conspiracy for a violent plot to overturn U.S. President Joe Biden's presidential win. The seditious conspiracy is in relation to last year's riot at the U.S. Capitol, and the latest charge against Rhodes is among the most serious to stem from a U.S. Justice Department investigation into the events of January 6. That is when a crowd of Trump, Donald Trump supporters stormed the Capitol building. Rhodes now faces a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. His co-defendant, Kelly Meggs, has also been found guilty of seditious conspiracy. Meanwhile, three other members of the group who were on trial alongside Rhodes, that is Jessica Watkins, Kenneth Harrelson, and Thomas Caldwell, they were all found not guilty on the seditious conspiracy charge and have been acquitted. We're disappointed with the guilty verdict. Um, we feel like that um, uh, we presented a case which uh, showed through evidence and testimony that uh, Mr. Rhodes did not commit the crime of seditious conspiracy. Uh, there was no evidence introduced to indicate that there was a plan to uh, attack the Capitol. In accusing Rhodes and his followers, the Justice Department alleges that all the defendants were prepared and willing to use force to prevent the peaceful transfer to power. Further outlining that the defendant's presence at the Capitol was only designed to prevent, hinder, and delay the election certification process. The verdict is especially significant in the case of Rhodes, a Yale graduated lawyer who never entered the Capitol that day, but instead communicated with other Oath Keepers as they forced their way into the building. During the trial, Rhodes and his co-defendants denied plotting any attack or seeking to block Congress from certifying the election results. Meanwhile, four other Oath Keepers members charged with seditious conspiracy are due to go on trial in December. Senior journalist Ray Locker is live from Washington, D.C. Ray, thank you very much for staying on. The trial, the first of three seditious conspiracy cases set to start this year, was a major test of the Justice Department's ability to hold January 6 rioters accountable. What's your view about the case and how will it affect Trump's political era? Well, seditious conspiracy has been a tough crime to prove. I mean, the last time the government successfully prosecuted it was in 1995. So um, the prosecutors had some obstacles to clear, to get Rhodes and some of his uh, fellow defendants. I mean, while some of the others did not get uh, convicted on seditious conspiracy, they were convicted on other charges. Um, it's a big win for them, and I think it bodes well for their cases in the future. What about for Trump? Look, every time there's a case involving January 6th that ties the rioters, the insurrectionists with Donald Trump in any way, shape or form, it reminds people what they don't like about Donald Trump. I mean, the January 6th committee did that. Um, subsequent newspaper stories, millions of newspaper stories have come out saying, you know, what Trump knew about. His own family said that they told him he didn't win the election, yet he persisted. And we had this grievous attack on the Capitol in which at least three policemen have killed themselves or died of injuries suffered during that riot. So it's serious. It, nothing, none of this helps Donald Trump. All right, we'll have to end this conversation here. Ray Locker, thank you very much for giving us time today. Thank you. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.